Secretary of State Antony Blinken says President Biden will travel to Israel on Wednesday. During remarks in Tel Aviv, Blinken laid out the goal for the president's wartime visit. The president will hear from Israel what it needs to defend its people as we continue to work with Congress to meet those needs. Second, President Biden will underscore our crystal clear message to any actor, state or non-state, trying to take advantage of this crisis to attack Israel. Don't. CBS News senior investigative correspondent Catherine Harridge joins me now from Washington. Catherine, what's your takeaway from Blinken's statement and what could it mean for President Biden? Well, John, good to be with you. It's a significant development by any measure. A sitting president of the United States traveling to a war zone as the all indicators suggest that we're on the cusp of this ground assault. Just going to my notes, two elements of the Secretary of State's speech uh, stood out to me. One is that the president and others will receive an assessment of Israel's war objectives, another indicator that we're moving closer to this second phase of the war. And second, the stark warning to state and non-state actors about staying out of the conflict so it does not further escalate. And that's not happening in a vacuum. We've seen new engagement by Hezbollah in the north of Israel. Hezbollah is a proxy of Iran. And based on all of my reporting this week here at CBS News, there's a lot of anxiety about a second front opening in this conflict and a proxy like Hezbollah getting involved on behalf of Iran. And not only would that dramatically change the calculus in the region, but it would also severely impact the threat level here in the United States. Catherine Herridge in Washington. Thanks so much, Catherine. You're welcome.